All right, I'm doing things a little bit different today, starting this video after the trip, and you'll soon see why. My good buddy, Captain Justin Bowles, is coming over to demonstrate how he's been tying his drop shot rigs. He put it to really good use this week on a trip to Venice. This is part two of that trip, and we really destroyed the speckled trout. Just absolutely incredible fishing. So check out how Justin ties his drop shot rig, and also the great action down at the mouth of the Mississippi River. You don't want to miss this one. Okay, this is a new way that I've come up with to tie my drop shots. I've been throwing drop shots for several years. Used to time like the old double rig, like Todd kind of tied it in his pool test video. But the, this past year, I've been tying it a different way with something called a dropper loop. What it does, it, it makes the hook stand out from the line a little more. Far, far, far less tangles. So here we go, I got my strand. This is 20 pound mono. I normally use 30 about two two and a half feet you go about 10 inches down make a big loop now you want to hold both ends of this and then you take and separate the two while holding it spin it five or six times then this hole you created you grab that loop through it I hold it with my mouth. So what you've done is you've created a loop in this line. The shorter end, I tie in a uni to uni to my braid, or you could use a barrel swivel. Then the bottom end, I tie to my drop shot weight. I just use a three twist fisherman's knot. You can use any kind of knot. You don't want this knot to be super strong in case it does get hung on the bottom. Hopefully you'll just lose the weight. So then you got your weight down at the bottom, you got your dropper loop. And then on the dropper loop, this is pretty important. You take it evenly, pinch it, I bite it, and I, I don't crease it. You don't want to crease it, especially if you're using fluorocarbon, that'll weaken it. But you kind of got to pinch it down to get it to go through your hook eye. And you have to go from the top of the hook down. If you go backwards, you will be missing fish left and right because I'll show you in one second. So you go through your hook eye, loop it over the hook and just snug it down. So what you're left with, you see how that wants to jump out the side? It spins around, doesn't tangle hardly ever really, unless you're using some real, real light line. And you've got the double line going to your hook, so it's even more abrasion resistant. Then I take my drop shot minnow, this is the new bait we're using with this. I hook it straight through the tip, let it hang just like this. This bait, we've added flotation to the plastic. So when you set this in the water, the bait is gonna come up. It's gonna try to rise and your weight's holding it down. So when it's in the current, the weight's gonna be sitting on the bottom and this bait's gonna be up here with a real unique look and it, it definitely produces more hits for me. Oh, and I mentioned making sure you go through the hook eye from the top or the top being where the hook point is up. Like say this is in a fish's mouth and you pull to set the hook, that hook is gonna roll in to hook the fish's lip in theory. If you rig it backwards, and I've done this before, see how the hook wants to sit backwards? So when that's in a fish's mouth, it's it's not gonna wanna turn up, it's gonna wanna come out. So you'll be missing fish left and right. All right, Justin and I had another boat come and mess us up. Actually two of them, same time. So we left, we came into the river where we started this morning. The tide's not rolling quite as hard as it was this morning, although it is still pretty hard. We're gonna close out the day here, just see if we can catch a few fish. Justin's throwing a drop shot rig. Justin's got a fish, you missed him? That looked to be a definite hit, huh? I don't know if will catch him with this. No way I'm on bottom. There he is. Justin's got him on well, the drop shot. I'm gonna get you to tie me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Since you cut off my double rig. I can tie your double rig back on. <laughs> and a new bait I helped come up with. Come on, did you? Your little drop shot bait? A little drop shot minnow. How heavy is your weight? One ounce. One ounce. A better eater trout than what we were catching earlier. I'm throwing this 3 8 but it's definitely not heavy enough with this current. I'm gonna have to make a change. Oh, there he is. 
You just felt pressure? You felt yeah. him tag it? I felt him tag it. I'm just holding it still, and the, the current's just doing the work. With that drop shot, you can do it. All right, I got to make the change. Can't let Justin have all the fun. This feels like a better fish, man. Does it? You need me to net him? That's what I've been catching all day. <laughs> All right, I tied back on my double rig. Oh, there we go. First cast with the double rig. First cast. Got a mouthful of food. Wow, oh, man. He just realized he's hooked. On the top one. All right. Fish absolutely all over down here in Venice right now, just everywhere. Completely different scenario than where we caught them earlier, but just as aggressive. Right away. Double. Oh goodness. This is a big trout, dude. <laughs> this is the biggest of the day for sure. Yeah, it's a good one. Look well. Goodness, dude. I mean, it hits the bottom, and there's a hookup. The big one. Yeah. Man, it's a, not a big fish. Not as big as the last, but super nice. <laughs> what the hell is that? You catching bait? Dude, you think he's 14? Yeah. If he is, I want him. There he is. Oh, good Lord. I, oh, good, he came off. He probably broke off. Oh, yep, I bet he did break off because the other one was still on there. Yeah, I think it was probably a big red. That's what it felt like. This is just silly. Oh, nice <laughs> yeah. Now my other bait's still there. I bet one got off and uh, and this one came and hit it. Good Lord. If he's legal, I want him, yeah. We might be done, that might be it. I'll tag this guy and let him go. I missed mine. Oh, I missed that one. How many trout are down there?
just awesome. My goodness, my goodness. Such beautiful fish. This is why I wanted to go to Venice. This is why I want to come to Venice, you're right. I tried to talk him into staying on the causeway. You've done the causeway many times, you've never done this. All right, you can see on this depth finder, it's 5.7 feet, somewhere in there. And we're positioned right up close to these rocks. What we're throwing into is about 30 feet, and we're kind of walking it up that ledge, although, in all honesty, you really can't get it all that far up the ledge before you get a fish. Like, they're holding right on that drop-off. You just let it fall to the bottom, engage. Just kind of hold it there. Oh, shoot, I missed him. Of course, when you try and call your shot. I missed two on that one. Yeah. I feel like you may have took my bait. <laughs> neither one of us got a bite on that cast. I got two bites. Well, I mean, neither one, we got a, neither one of us got a hookup. Catching them every single cast till that one. There you go. And Justin got him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I should have been narrating. <laughs> Can't say every cast because I just proved that it's not every cast, but it's pretty darn close. Just gorgeous, man. And look how deep they're taking it. Like every fish is taking it deep. We're getting them all in, not losing many. I mean, you, you miss a bite here and there, but once you hook him, you're gonna land him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Just tattooing the bait. So much fun. Man, this must be a good trout. It is. It is. This would be a tough competition with me and Kevin today, man. I mean, even he would be Kevin. I might have two. It's just one, man. That's a freaking feisty trout. He's nice, but he's not. Freaking nice. I think he's just getting all the other ones. <laughs> yeah, might be right. I don't think he's 20. Huh? You think he's 20? I think he's 19, but I don't think he's 20. I think I'm out of tag, sadly. Hardly any spots on this guy. Awesome. I am out of tags. You just get to swim without an injury. They're fat all the way through the tail. They're like, they're yeah, they are, you're right. Fat all the way through the tail, just slobs. It's gonna be a real soft, greasy meat. What color does it seem like they're hitting more for you? Yeah, it's it's 50-50. But I'm throwing limbo and lemon head, real similar colors. Oh dude, it's just crazy. Flipping trout this size like it's nothing. Some days I'd net this fish. This is why you make the long drive to Venice. No place like it. There truly is no place in the world like Venice, Louisiana. Crazy. At the southern tip of Plaquemines Parish.
All right, Justin Bowles, he's a fishing guide, fishes every day. We've caught a butt ton of trout today, and he's still fishing. But this is special, special action, catching trout this size every cast. Just, it literally does not get any better. This place is magical. Stuff happens down here, it doesn't happen anywhere else. I say it all the time. Particularly in the fall, when you get a low river situation like we have this year, the fishing, fishing down here just explodes, and it definitely has this year. Very easy to find fish. We didn't have any intel or anything like that. Just kind of went fishing and easily found fish. So awesome. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. You can do that by clicking that button right there. Also, here's two videos YouTube thinks you like. Check those out when you get a chance. Until next time, we don't see you in the marsh. We'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. And hopefully we catch just as many fish in that trip, although it's almost not even possible. <laughs>